What's up guys, myself Rajat, welcome back to my channel World of VFX. Uh, basically in this video we'll talk about Unreal Engine, one most important uh, upcoming days plugin that is called Atlax. This is their website and previously it was called Metashoot and you can see this previously known as Metashoot and this is a completely amazing tool. Thank you this team for those who provided me this and uh, when I uh, start using this it's completely amazing. So yes you can definitely check this website link is in description box below and now let's jump into Unreal Engine so that we can show you how you can create this. So basically first of all go to uh, this plugins panel and once you install this Atlax panel you can simply type Atlax and you can find this plugin just simply check this on and restart your Unreal Engine. Now let's close this and once you install you can find this uh, icon over here. Simply click here and you can find this one popped up window. This is basically Atlax and this is everything. You can do lighting, you can do rendering, you can make a project, sequence, everything right from one single click. So yes, once you create it and install everything, if you install properly, it will come here. So first of all, if you notice, uh, this has some assets uh, which can create, you know, studio light. And basically, this Atlax is based on the studio lighting. If you want to showcase any product based renders and all motion graphics and all, you can definitely use this uh, plugin. And this is literally amazing. So to create a new level sequence, uh, you can definitely check this create new level studio. But also you can simply drag and drop anything and you can start work under this section. But I'll suggest start with the default presets one. So now if you just click the photo studio like this, you can simply say no. And you can see it will automatically jump into a complete new level sequence. And not like a level sequence, a complete new scene. And over there you can see some studio lighting with a camera, with a backdrop. And now let's start some customization. But before customization, let me show you what are the this assets. So if you select this tracking one, Basically, uh, this one can track your model. If you see the preview, it can rotate like this. This is called uh, turnable. Like if you want something to be turnable, you can use this. There's a light box. This is a revealing one, like from defocus to focus. It's a glide. There's a multiple things. There's an infinite one. And there's a backplate. So it means you can use any black uh, like backplate behind this. And there's a transparent. So if you want anything uh, transparent behind this, you can use this. And this is a motor portal and uh, this is the world like HDRI one and this is everything. Okay, so let's start with this tracking one. I really love this a lot. So once you uh, use this and let me show you what are the next options. Now coming to this uh, custom presets. These are the custom presets. If you want to add any custom preset downloaded or you can import, you can import it right from here. But make sure that should be .atlax format. And there's a studio scale. If you want to increase the scale of the studio, simply uh, increase it and make sure scale the studio, select this option. Now, these are the all updates. Like if you want the lights or backdrops, you can simply check this on and off. That's it. And these are the my accounts. I don't think this is uh, important. Now, let's jump into the next section, which is the lighting option. So this is my most favorite option, by the way. So before moving this lighting option, let me show you this soft box, what exactly can do. So if you select this soft box and if you just select like, like move tool. And first of all, if I'll click this camera, you can simply see the preview. Just pin this so that it will never gone. So now if I'll select the soft box and if I'll move this, you can simply see it start updating itself and the lightings are also changing according with the movement. If I uh, move this to left to right, you can simply see the lighting changes and it's not like moving randomly. Okay, it's moving as normal as like a normal studio. Also, you can change other soft boxes as well and simply select this and you can move it. Like if I will move down, move up and you can rotate it, whatever you can do. Now, if I select any uh, soft box and you can find the other settings as well like uh, the color tint and also if you want to change some different color tint you can definitely change it and the uh, lights will update in real time also there is a temperature intensity like a normal things but also you can change the lighting component like this is a rec light component if you want you can change this and also you have this type of the soft box so if you want any kind of soft work like different like light wand you can simply check this uh, like change this it will automatically update uh, also you can turn on the ray tracing to lumen if you just turn on to the lumen part 
this lighting is right now in lumen mode and this is the ray tracing mode also if you want path tracing mode simply turn this on this is right now in path tracing mode and simply check this to ray tracing mode also all right so if you want to add some assets like any other soft box like these are the one two three four if you want one more soft box simply drag and drop and the light will add and if you notice it start adding light in real time also you can change the colors rotation everything so just deleting this and the next one is if you go down you can find this apply to selector like if you want to change the lighting so first of all let's select anything and now i want to change the light to the class a simply select this and it will update just one single click like a backlit base like if you want to highlight something right from the base you can use this uh, this is a good side one this is actually the uh, current one and this is a standard one so yes you can change it anytime and anything okay next is like intensity so these are the multiple factors so if i want to increase it to let's say five you need to select this multiply selected if you want to increase all then you need to increase the multiply all so just simply all so all lights are multiplied by five now the next one is most important the sequence setting so if you want to do your camera in sequence so if i'll select the camera right now it's in the path if you notice it's in a path you can change the path into like semicircle circular and roller coaster type dolly truck and the pedestal so before doing this i want to show you how you can create a level sequence using this camera simply go down you can find this prepare level sequence make sure you need to click this new sequence because you don't know is there any sequence already pre-made or not so simply check this one and prepare new level sequence and now you have your level sequence created now guys trust me you have everything in front of your like fingers so you just need to click so once you play you can definitely see the camera is moving and it's updating right here and it's moving actually on its own path like this if you play like this if you notice this updating okay so now let me show you how you can change the path so simply select the camera and uh, semicircular just click this and now it start rotating on this axis and if you select the path like this you can actually rotate this something like this so that it will automatically update the entire animation so now if i'll play you can see it start adding a rotational animation it's it's really really fascinating now simply select this you can use anyone like roller coaster this is also my most favorite one and if you play it start adding some roller coaster effect just simply click it's just a single click all right so you are almost done and now if you go down you can find this ray length so this is the length you can definitely increase or decrease anytime also this is called a frame rate like total frames right, right now you have 150 frames if you increase this it will automatically update the frame range and also you can find this frame rate as well right now it's in 10 to if you increase it to 60 make sure you need to update this people level sequence every time so right now it's in 60 fps see this this is in right now 60 fps now in the real time you can select the camera press f so that it will snap on the ground and now if you want you can definitely move the camera in any time to like something like this and now if you play the camera right from here you can see the updated camera motion is actually happening from this direction okay so if you want to change anything like select the circular one and if i play this and you can simply turn this prepare level sequence so it can actually update the level sequence and uh, what i can see after doing my rnd every time doing this prepare level sequence actually giving you a very good result all right so after that my last option which is the most helpful which is called render because every time you guys are looking for you know the realistic render how we can get a proper realistic render so you can find the realistic render right from here so this is called like uh, quality so if you want a production level 4k no denoiser saved in log you can use this so that you can do the rest of the parts in post production also you can use this path tracing ultra quality 1080p no denoiser it's mean it will render in path tracing mode and this is ultra hd quality and this is a quick one like a normal basic render so i highly recommend you can use these two options to a proper high quality render now if you want a single jpeg like I, if i want this frame is like a one single render then you can use this single shot and it will render only one single frame and if you want a 150 frames you can use this sequence option now let's come to the custom one if you have anything preload or pre-saved you can definitely import that and this is the total number of frames same you can change it this is a frame rate 30 and this is the output path where you want to render your uh, you know the final output and this is the resolution it's already by default in 4k quality is in ultra 
and these are the like formats and all you can simply use this anything which you want and talking about the customization you can customize everything from here as well in details panel for example if i select the camera if you go down you can select the camera and change it anytime like a normal 50 millimeter camera and also let's change it to let's say 80 millimeter so it's like this only and if you go down you can see all the details same if you can find out this crop option so that it will you know give you a cinematic look and a one also you can change this model you just need to import anything just simply turn this off and let me show you how you can import any model just a demo so if i have something and drag and drop and something like this and let's rotate this slightly and yes this is the final you know model which i have imported so now if i'll just move the camera a little bit far so that it, it will in focus and let's see these are the things so yes in this way you can replace your model upgrade your scene and do whatever you want to do and once you're happy you can simply press the shoot option so it will start rendering and save this path where you want to save this so yes that's it uh, this is called at last the most amazing tool ever have ever used in unreal engine and this can help you to you know uh, optimize your workflow to make more realism if you notice the studio lightings are just real just too real so yes use this if you just want you can go to their websites check all the details there are a lot of videos tutorials in detail so that you can use a meta humans as well this is a full length tutorial made by their creators so you can go and use this and definitely uh, if you want to purchase link is in description box below go and check it out and yes see you soon in my next video till then keep watching keep rocking and make sure keep watching world of vfx bye bye